All right, what's up, y'all? I'm back. One Punch Man, chapter 161. I'm about to be going over it. Uh, this shit came out like three days ago or something like that. I'm covering it right now on a Saturday. And let's just go over. I'm right now on 160. Let's just see what happened last, last chapter towards the end. So, yeah, last chapter, Pig God came in clutch. Fucking saved everybody. He got he 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 slurped everybody up in his mouth and then threw them out, coming in clutch saving everybody and then it ended with Saitama and Garo meeting up and pretty much Saitama not knowing who the fuck he was. Pretty much probably by the way he looked, he was like, um, where are you supposed to be? And that's how it ended. That was the end of it. So let's go. 161. This came out like, what, four days ago, I think? I haven't been spoiled on it. I I'm gonna try to upload, I'm gonna try to upload these chapters though, when immediately when they come out that same day, if not the next, from here on out though. So yeah, chapter 161, it's called Sinking Feeling. All right, let's get to it. All the S-Class heroes that were scattered on the ground even in this situation, they're not showing their faces. Huh? I guess that means they're all staying down. I will become absolute evil without fail. My fist is perfected as well. There's nothing left for me to fear. There shouldn't be at least, but something's bothering me. I've got this sinking feeling I'm still missing something huge. What was it? I can't remember. Oh yeah. What happened to the sea monster? All this is being said by Gara. Where are you supposed to be? Damn, this panel is fucking hard. Garo and Saitama right there just looking at each other. Huh? Who the hell are you? Garo saying that. What am I supposed to be, you ask? Some chump hero sent out for rescue operations, maybe? Side to much just looking at him clueless, like he don't give a fuck. Follow the voice of your heart. Sorry, old man. I'm gonna do something only I can do. I'm Garo, the monster. Bro, it's funny how Garo cares so much, and Side to probably right now just doesn't give a fuck about what's going on. I'm the one who will strike all of mankind down equally into the depths of despair. The one who will become absolute evil. Garo cares so much about becoming absolute evil. He cares so much about this whole villain, this whole villain side of his lifestyle and Saitama could care less about anything. I don't think Saitama even cares about being a hero to be honest as much as people think he does and make this world become everybody will know the, the pain that these damn heroes turned a blind eye to absolute evil you're evil? Saitama saying this didn't you just save that helicopter being chased by the centipede? oh shit Saitama exposing his ass from last what was it like two chapters ago or last chapter? Saitama exposing his ass you even split that thing right in two, didn't you? With the karate chop? Side of saying this. What's with this guy? Where was he watching me from? <laughs> absolute evil means absolute strength after all. First, I need witnesses to spread my influence. I wanted to show the passengers that I'm stronger than any hero or monster. Watch closely. This is the moment where the monster wins. Damn. Hmm? If you understood that, then get the hell out of here and think about a career change. <laughs> I'm not stopping. With the Monster Association, the Hero Association gets annihilated tonight, too. Dude, Garo knows he's getting exposed. I think at the end of the series, Garo is gonna... I'm not saying he's gonna be civilized, but I feel like 
he's going to realize that in all actuality, he truly didn't want to become a real, a real villain. All right, so I'll make the world understand that my might is impossible to challenge. That means any leftover heroes will pretty much have two choices. Either surrender or oppose me and be crushed. <laughs> all right, all right. If you're not a monster, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this just shows how much like them I don't give a fuck. Bro, Garo cares so much about their interaction, knowing how their previous interactions have gone. Like all all of Garo's pre previous interactions between Saitama, Saitama just doesn't give a fuck. And he goes, hmm? Were you even listening? I mean, you don't even look like a monster. Just figured I'm not needed here. Bro, Saitama is top tier. <gasps> I go to complain about the noise and somehow my house gets blown up. So now I'm stuck trying to find my stuff by fishing around in a tide pool. <laughs> I kind of feel like I'd rather just obliterate the whole place. <laughs> what the? Bro. I kind of feel like I'd rather just obliterate the whole planet. Coming from a fucking hero. Saitama literally just said that. Coming from a hero saying that. And it's funny because... Within the last couple of chapters, we've seen how much Garo isn't really that much of a villain due to the things that he's done. And then just to hear... The hero say this. I kind of feel like I'd rather just obliterate the whole planet. Shows how... These two guys have their roles kind of switched in many ways. It, it just shows this series, that's why I love this series, it just shows how much someone's not, how a bad person isn't really that bad and how a good person isn't really that good. Everybody has good in them. Every good person has good in them and evil in them. Every bad person has bad in them and, e and good in them. Side them is just pretty much showing that shit right now. I thought I'd let off a little steam by beating up the, the monsters, King Guy. So I watched you for a while because you seem pretty cool looking and tough but guess you weren't him I don't care if you're playing monster or hero or whatever as a hobby <laughs> just try not to overdo it okay see ya <laughs> uh, what was that pressure who is this guy feels like I've seen him before alright so I don't say that seems like he was remembering Garo no it doesn't matter who it is hey did you not understand at all? Underestimating absolute evil is a huge mistake. I'll break his spirit just enough to kill him. Just enough to not kill him. Nothing personal. Then we got Garo winding up for a punch. Saitama was turning his head around to see that. <laughs> One shot. Back fist. Saitama just back fisted his ass. Alright, so we got, sorry, you came at me kind of fast. <laughs> it's funny how he's sweaty. So he's like, he's nervous doing all the shit that he does. But he doesn't really want to do it. It's kind of like an embarrassment to him. And then he kicks his ass while King is right there in the background with a, with a bicycle just staring at him. This guy, he's, he just hit him with a chop right there to the neck. I remember now. That mysterious or powering bald guy I keep running into over and over again. Huh? Garo, wasn't he? Alright, so he remembered his name. What an oversight. I forgot about the target who should take priority over everything else. End of chapter. We have to see a fight between Garo and Saitama. Like a good fucking fight. A good final fight. To pretty much challenge the ending of season one of One Punch Man. I think that's what it... It, it has to lead to Garo versus Saitama. But it, by the way by, by the way it seems, he just fucking one shot at his ass. Not really one shot. It was a back fist. And then it turned into a neck chop. And then what else? Back fist, neck chop. That's pretty much it. His ass is on the ground. Probably knocked out. But yeah, that's the end of the chapter. Alright, y'all. I'm for sure when it comes to when it comes to One Punch Man, 
and uh, uh, One Piece. I feel like those are my two favorite ongoing series right now. Not my two favorite series, but I'm talking about like currently week to week basis and shit like that. I appreciate you guys. Let me know uh, if I should cover anything else. If you guys want me to cover anything else. I don't know what's popular right now, but the shit that I'm, I'm reading a whole bunch of mangas, but the main shit that I'm reading is One Punch Man and uh, One Piece. Those are like my favorite that are going on right now. But yeah, appreciate you guys. See you guys soon.